welcome. This is Pipe, the Pipeline Help Project is part of She Code Africa Contributhon. It's the 28th of April, 2022. Topics I had, questions and answers, and then any progress report and status discussion that you want to do. What other topics would you like to include on the list? Sophia or Abi? Afi? Oh, I think that's fine for now, for my end. Okay, great. So, um, the, oh, go ahead, last, Sophia. The last thing you, we were um, going to um, figure out how we could find, um, how we could find help, uh, pipeline help, like places that um, need pipeline help. Good, okay. So let's let's talk through those. How to find, okay, so let's, and let's find that. Good, okay, yes, so let's let's work through that. I think that feels like a good thing to work through together as, as an example of how do we find those locations and how do we how do we explore them and decide which one to work on? Is that a fair thing to do? Yes, please. Okay. All right. So let's bring up. Let's see back to the steps here. So we do a build modify. All right, so most frequently commented pages. So for instance, let's, oh, where is my pivot table? This one, okay, good. And it suggested that the things that, now we had, we had done a number, so I'm just going to take some and let's pick HTML publisher plugin. So, here it has a step called publish HTML, and there's not a lot of help on this page, right? It doesn't show us any, okay, it tells us the name of the report, but it doesn't give us any example in the, in the top level help, though it does have help text for many of the, of the arguments. So that's, that's a plus, the arguments have some help, includes, does not have any help. So that's one we could probably help. We could add more help to. So if you're okay, let's take this one, HTML publisher and see what we can, what we can learn about it. So first it helps me if I install this plugin on my Jenkins. So I'm gonna open up the Jenkins that I've got running. Oops, wrong one. The Jenkins that I've got running. And I'm going to go to the plugin manager and install the HTML publishing plugin. So manage plugins available, publish, whoops, publish. Oh, there it is, HTML, oh, it's already installed. Good, okay, so I've got it. All right, so since it's already installed, I should just be able to use pipeline syntax generator. So one way to get to the pipeline syntax generator is just on the end of a URL, put slash pipeline syntax. And now the keyword was publish HTML. So if I go here, publish HTML. Okay. So, and it gives some initial yeah, so notice there's no help on include files. The others seem to have some help, but there's no example up here at the top either. Whereas if I look at the git step, it has help right here at the very top. And publish HTML did not. So let's go see if we can find a way to add top level help to publish HTML. Where is publish HTML? P, P. So we want to add a question mark immediately to the right hand side of this publish HTML step. 
Fair enough so far? Yes. Okay, all right. So the, the simplest way I can think of is let's go looking for in the plug plugin source code, let's go looking for that publish HTML Okay, so in the readme file it's mentioned and here is the step and here is the test of the step. So let's see, the thing that has this in it is this thing. So here is publish HTML step. Interesting, and why does it? Okay, so we've found something that needs help. And this thing, I think, oh, let's go to the master branch. I think we wanna build this plugin locally and do some experiments with it. So let's try that. So I'm going to copy this. I'm gonna go ahead and put it onto my local computer and I don't think I've already got it I don't so gh repo clone oh let's see is that text readable enough should I make the text larger it's readable Better? enough okay great so gh repo clone that repository and GH repo clone likes to know an organization name and that. Okay, so now when I look at what it's what I have, it says it knows about Jenkins CI and I am going to say GH repo fork. Okay, that was a question that I thought of Afi was wondering if that was a fork or the original repo. Good question. And so no, this was this was this is me using the the I started with the origin or with the upstream repository, and I did the fork using gh repo fork. So now what we see is gh remote minus v will show us origin is mark weights and upstream is HTML publisher or is Jenkins CIs. So now if we look for publish HTML, there is that place that I think we want to put, somehow we wanna connect the help to that thing. Now, now, part of this is an investigation process. Where's the existing help that we already have? For example, where is this text in the repository? And one way to to help myself when somebody's already started this process is I go find that thing. So the path to the HTML report direct or report directory relative. So if I do a git grep for that, notice, look at the, this, the path name here, source main resources, HTML publisher, HTML publisher target, help repo reporter, interesting. Okay, so <laughs> is there one of these? What's in that directory? HTML publisher target. So the reason, the reason I'm perplexed, Maven-based projects use a convention to, of where they place things. And I was expecting get this HTML publisher target to be somewhere in the code. Oh, and there it is, good, okay. So when I look at this thing, what do I, hmm. Interesting. Well, we're gonna try some experiments. All I know how to do is experiment here. So let's back to what we were looking for. We found this thing is where 
that help is located. So what I would expect to do is to create a file. So here's back to what we, we had. Help for a subcomponent is, is in that file. So this HTML directory to archive is here. And notice it's named help dash reporter. If I want to do help for the very top level, it's just help.html. So I think what I want to do is create this thing, copy that thing to that thing, and call it like this. And now when I edit this help.html file, what should we say? We should probably say something actually useful about publish HTML. So what does it say on the plugin site? It says something like that. And so the help should say something like that as well. Okay, so this is me Mark making the best just, attempt. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, there was just an E missing in publishes. Oh, oh, did I make a, oh, fix, let's fix that. Thank uh, you very yeah, much. Yeah, just a. Oh, yes, is, you're right. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. You're very welcome. good. Now, now, Afi and Sophia, I want you know, to notice what just happened here. A native French speaker just corrected the spelling of a, of a native English speaker. Well done, Bruno. I like that. That's excellent. <laughs> There's, there are lots of things we can learn together. So thanks very much. Good catch. Excellent. That was much better. I like that. All right. So the HTML publisher plugin publishes HTML reports that your build generates, generates to the... Oh, good. All right. So we'll, we'll call that for now. And I'm going to do a git add to say, I think this is ready. Now I need to build this thing. And I'm gonna build it sort of the fast way. Actually, I, I have an even better way. I'm gonna build it and run it. So directly with a simplified version of the whole Jenkins controller, am I right? Exactly. So what I'm going oh, to do is yes. I'm going to, I'm going to, with a single command, compile the plugin and start a Jenkins instance that I can use. Now, this may be complicated in my, in my case because... You will I have to, yes, yeah, specify the port. The, I the think 80, 80, so. Isn't it already taken by your instance of Jenkins? In my case, I hope I don't have one running here because this particular computer isn't running Jenkins oh, cool. at the moment. So, but that's a good point. I would probably have to say some, let's choose a different port just in case. Let's try that. Okay, so now it's, it's, it's preparing and downloading components that it needs. I could have certainly reduced the noise here by using the minus NTP option, minus no transfer progress option, but sorry, you'll just have to endure that noise. This will skip the tests. Now, really, before I submit a pull request, it would be better if I didn't skip the tests, but let's see if I can get to it now because I'm not sure if I gave the right command to allow it to listen to me. We're gonna try it though. Nope. Oh, no, it was 9090. Oh, it's 9090, yeah. Right. Use the correct port number, 9090. Nope. Okay, so oh. now I've got to find a little more trickery because I'm multi-computer. Or let's just do the same change, but we'll do it on my Windows computer so that I don't have to do this. So git commit minus A minus V. Add top level help for pipeline.
Okay so far? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to do a git. Oops. Oh, shame on me. Look at this. I committed it to the master branch. I should have committed it to a different branch. Shame, 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 shame. So add top level pipeline help. Okay, so now if we look at it, it will say, hey, there's a branch at top of, top of a pipeline help, and here's my mistake. I need to fix my mistake. So what this is doing is I'm checking out the master branch, and I'm going to force it back to what it was before. And now I'm going to check out the branch where I did the real work. And here we go. And what you see now is just my new addition, and I haven't touched the master branch. So the, the first rule is please don't put your commits on the master branch. That's That should be your reference copy of everybody else's stuff. Any questions about that one? No. Uh, okay. Okay. So if you go ahead. No, no, I, I don't have any questions. Okay, okay. So I was, I just had a little question on the on the branches that I created. Is there a convention for like creating the branches or something? Or you could just look at the sample ones that have been done and go according to that same convention. Because I could see it's mostly in lowercase and separated with um, like high things. There, there, there isn't really any convention other than the one you choose whatever makes sense for your, your naming. You can name them any way you would like. Those of us who are English language generally prefer that it not have accented characters in it. But, but even that, I think you're even allowed to use UTF-8 characters in them. So you could use any name and you could use underscores, dashes, bicapitalized, whatever convention works for you. The branch name is only for your benefit. It really doesn't matter to anyone else. Okay. okay. And Mark, um, should we, for that kind of features, uh, use the feature branches from GitHub? Or is there a command within GH who could help us name that feature we're working on? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, I've never. So what Bruno's alluding to is there's a concept of, of feature branches in GitHub. Or is it in GitHub? I know there's a concept of feature branches in the community. And and I'm just not it's sure. Maybe not if, linked to GitHub. Yes, you're right. I think it's pure kit. Yeah. So so there is a concept. There there are naming conventions, and Bruno alludes to one of those naming conventions where you you may say feature slash some description, or you might say bug fix slash something, or chore slash something. And what that does is that helps people understand, or helps you understand what the purpose of that branch is. So that's that's a, a good point as well. And I could have done that also. Then it would be something like this, right? We would say git branch minus M. Um, how about, I think this is documentation. So we're going to call it docs slash. And so now what we see is docs slash add top level pipeline help is my thing. And that left to, to the left side of the slash is telling me what kind of commit this is. And if I were adding a brand new feature, it might be feature slash something. Did, did I describe it well enough, Bruno, or is there more you'd like to share? That was perfect. OK. And, and thank you, because uh, without your explanation, I would have just muddied the water. So <laughs> yes, it was much needed. Thank you. Well, and, and that's a, that's truly a, a, a great thing to remember is that branch names are for your benefit, but sometimes we can use the branch names to communicate something to others as well. And this feature branch naming thing can help. Some projects you're on may tell you, please use, use such and such a convention. Good, very good. So I'm going to push this up to, I'm going to push this up to my, to GitHub in my fork so that I can use it from my Windows computer because I'm gonna re redo this on my Windows computer. So git push set up, so I said git push and that's not enough. So it tells me what the rest is and it says git push set up stream that. 
And now if I wanted to immediately make the pull, make the pull request, I could do it because it's told me, hey, here's a hint. Did some things. If you want to create a pull re request, do this. And I'm going to do it so that the pull request can be processed in parallel to our experiments on Windows. You probably shouldn't do this because you may, you may not be ready for a pull request yet. But I'm going to go ahead and do it just because it's an easy thing to do for right now and let the CI server help us. OK, so add top level help for pipeline. OK, and I haven't done tests, so I have to not do that. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and submit this pull request. So I did do it from a feature branch, not the main branch, because the main branch is named master. The title represents what I want to do. Describe what I did. Oops, no, I haven't described what I did. Add a top top-level help entry, entry to pipeline. No relevant issues to link, so nothing I need to link there. And pull requests, so I'm ready to create that, create that. This will now start the continuous integration evaluation process. While that's happening, I'm going to go create, I'm going to go get myself a local copy here that we can do some testing with. Come on, get. Okay, fine. Just a minute. I have to, it's Windows. I have to start my Git bash this way. There we go. Okay, hide some things away. Is that text big enough for you to see it? It's a little small for me. Options, text size. Let's go 14 point. Is that better? Much better, yeah. Okay. All right, so back to the way we clone this repository, we need And I can use GH on Windows just as easily as I can use it on Linux. So okay, GH so repo clone. Don't you want to start from your own fork? Uh, well, I could. I've actually found that if I do it from clone and then do a fork, I like the result just fine. But I could do a clone oh, of okay. fork. It's a good question. Shall we try it? Let's try mine. No, no, no as you please. Okay, for for me it, it's worked. This this pattern of cloning the original, and then gh repo fork, is an easy pattern for me to remember. Oh, and I'm yeah, on yeah. Windows, so Got I it. have to do on Windows. It warns me, oh. hey, you have to do something different, and I have to say min tty gh repo fork. Oh, <laughs> nope, that wasn't it. Just a minute, let's see. GH help min TTY. Because there's a little bit of an add on that. I, oh, there it is. Win PTY. That's the one that I needed to do. Win PTY GH repo fork. Okay. And there it is. So get remote well minus V. So it inevitably the tools tell you, oh, read this in order to figure it out. So I read that and it tells me use win PTY GH repo fork. So now I have this one and I want to do a GH PR list. Okay, there's my pull request. So I could do a GH PR checkout 190. That's one way to do it. Or I could have done git checkout minus B, et cetera. So I've got it, now let's build it. Maven clean, Jenkins.version equals 2.344, HPI colon run. 
And what this is going to do is run Jenkins on my local computer with a copy of HTML publisher plugin loaded. And it's with my changes in it. So we should be able to see if I actually got top level pipeline help added or not. Yes, but on this computer, don't you have already a Jenkins version running on board 8080? I, I do not. This is my Windows oh, desktop. Perfect. And I don't run Windows, I don't run Jenkins on my Windows desktop because my desktop is very busy doing other things. Okay, okay, okay. But let's let's check that while we're waiting because I could be wrong. And if I am, we'll know very soon. Localhost 8080. And there is nothing. Yay, big win. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so. And it says failed to oh. find. Oh, no, 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 no. You were right, Bruno. It is running. Okay, now I have to find a way to stop Jenkins on. Oh, let's. How did we do it before? We said let's use a different port number. Let's see if this will work for us. Okay, it hasn't died yet. So that looks promising. So let's try it. Localhost port 9090. And there it is. It says if I click slash Jenkins, it should take me there. Chugga, 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 chugga. And here's Jenkins. Okay. So now how do I see my help pipeline syntax? Let's see if that will work for me. Okay, HTML, there's publish HTML, but still no question mark there. Okay, so my pull request didn't work, right? Okay, so maybe I need to put it somewhere else or put it somehow differently. So now we get to do some exploring. First, let's prove, can I change anything and make it visible? So I'm gonna grab this text and we're going to go find that text with my favorite little text editor. And we're gonna change that and see if that changes just to be sure that we're actually able to change something. <clears throat> Oh, silly thing, just a minute. Where is my editor? There it is. Obviously, I don't do enough development on Windows, just a minute. So let's go find that. <laughs> okay, computer. No, my editor is not configured. I'm gonna to have to do it the hard way. Just a minute, let's start another Git and we'll answer it there. And what was the text I needed to find? It was something like this.
Okay, so the one that I want is HTML publisher target, like that. Okay, so here is my handy little editor. You use whatever editor works for you. And now let's go find Oh, no, no, wait a sec. That's not the one I want. It is, I want the actual text, that one. That didn't help me. Open is not the action I want. I want copy. Wow, am I getting sad here. Okay, copy. This was the one we wanted to change. Let's make a change just to the lovely HTML report. And now back to our place where we were running the this. This should, if, if it behaves the way we hope, oh, it says failed to delete directory. So I'm going to have to stop and do it again. So what this will do is reuse all of my downloads that I did before, uh, reuse the working environment that I had before. So anything I'd configured should still be there. And here I am back again. So let's go look at this, reload this page. Loading, loading. Okay, so. Publish HTML, whoops, not PowerShell, publish HTML, click that. Interesting, there it is, the path to the lovely HTML. Okay, so at least we've proven we know how to make a, a change. Fair enough so far? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, so now it's still, I wanna figure out how to add help to that thing. Could it Oops. be we did not get a direct training? Could be, yeah, that's, that's possible. It may also be that there are, there are other things going on here. What I was assuming is that someplace in the source code, publish HTML has to exist. And that location is probably where it would be looking for the, the help. Let's actually, maybe let's take a look at another sample to see if we can find somebody else that will give us a hint about that. For instance, does bat, no, it doesn't have top level help. Checkout does. Okay, so here's checkout. So we could possibly go look at the implementation of checkout and see how they did their top level help. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. So, so let's go grab this. We, we know that checkout does it. So let's go find the implementation of checkout in online, in the online help. So checkout, if we go to Jenkins.io and look for pipeline help, Pipeline, checkout's pretty generic. So let's, well, maybe we just say checkout SCM. Pipeline SCM checkout step. Okay, so here's the checkout step and here's the plugin. All right, so now we've got the plugin. Now let's go looking at what some text is that we could find from this. So this is a special step that we'll check out. So let's search for that here in SCM checkout step. Here it is. Okay, so this has a help file 
that is stored in a jelly file, not an HTML file, and it's stored at the generic SCM step thing, right? So see those two pieces there? Whereas for our file, we were looking at, what was the one we were looking at? We were looking at something a little different, if I remember right. Our directory path was quite different. We were looking at HTML publisher slash help.html. No, no, that wasn't it, was it? The one we were looking at was HTML directory to archive is... Something with target it, no. Yeah, where, okay, so obviously I've got to search for it a little differently. Just a minute while we search for it this way. GitHub search is not helping me find it. There it is. So that found it in this location. No, oh, wait a sec. I was, am I looking for the wrong thing? I am sorry, here we go. We wanna look for the help text. And the help text was this, not the title. Okay, so back to our search. The thing was HTML publisher target and the help text is in HTML publisher help dash report dot HTML. So when I do this and generate, I bet we'll see that Report dir is the thing that the help is attached to. So back to this, here's report dir, and it's associated with that. Now in checkout, yeah, hmm. Okay, more exploring. You okay if I keep doing exploration or are you weary of this and we need to pause and let me do some exploration separately? <laughs> I don't mind. Oh, no, I think I think we, we can do the exploration because I also found it difficult to find certain like um references that we see on the pipeline syntax. So I think we should just go do it together. Okay. So if you're okay watching me learn and as we learn together, that's let's work through it together then. All right. All right, so. I mean, other possibles. Be sure that I didn't just make a mistake in the name of the file. Okay, so the file I created was source main resources, HTML publisher. And the, the place where it's, whoops. Yeah, so, nope, that's not helping me. Okay, back to where I was searching. So I was looking for, let's go all the way back to the help. I want to see the path to the HTML report directory. Oh, oh, right. And the reason it's not matching is because I changed it, didn't I? Oh, lovely. <laughs> Great. Okay. So source main resources, HTML publisher. Okay. That seems, seems like it should be the right place. Okay. And yet we're not getting it there when we added that file. into why not jar 
Huh, why not? Okay, I am perplexed. So what could it be? Oh, let's go back here. What are the hints we've got? So publish HTML, publish HTML reports. So if I look for that, publish HTML step is the thing. And it is a workflow publisher. I am just going to make a bold. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I'm just saying probably it just retains. I'm seeing it retains like the string publish HTML, but uh, I can't. Like I thought it would be in a div in a separate like in the help HTML file, like not the not this one. So I'm just I'm just a little bit confused too. Right, right, and and your confusion matches mine. That's why I'm. I'm wondering, okay, so I think this, this thing is the Java implementation of it. And so I think in order for us to add help to that Java implementation, we have to put it into a source main resources location that matches the Java implementation. So I want to try a little experiment here that I'm going to just touch let's see what we've got a i i want to create a file in source main resources that thing slash html publisher this thing slash help.html now that won't work because that directory doesn't exist so first thing i'm going to do is make a directory and this is me, I admit, just experimenting. Oh no, it already does exist. Oh, very good. Okay. So, so let's try this. Okay, just experimenting. Now I'm going to rebuild and Mark, see. Can we actually see? Go ahead. Can we actually see a system file in that directory? Sure. Let's take a look. So you wanted to see what else is in that directory? Yes, please. Good. Yeah. So there's a config.jelly. Maybe that is an interesting. Okay, so this is the configuration file that's used for this. This defines the UI. A jelly file defines UI. And so, so does that does that answer your question, Sophia? Okay. Um, I don't know. Could it be? Can we also make like uh, another file that is maybe help the jelly and probably put a different text to see? Good idea. Let's try that. I like that idea. So let's try exactly that. So let's copy help.html to help.jelly. I think that's what you were suggesting, right? Okay. Yes, and put a completely different text. Right. So that we know, hey, if one of them did it, we know which one did it. Okay, so now we should see and we can edit help.jelly and it will be goodbye. Very good, good suggestion. So this gives us two things to check. Hey, is help.jelly used or is help.html used? That was what you were suggesting, I think, Sophia, right? Yes, please. Okay, let's try it. Uh, so, Mark, once it's um, building, I just wanted to understand. So, um, in the, the Java file, um, what's being written is the HTML publisher 
like help, right? Just the heading, right? Let's be sure I understand your question. So I think what you're asking is, is this being retained? Yeah, so that's what's being retained from that Java file. I think, I think this bold word is actually extracted by Jenkins using mm. Java introspection to see what the symbols are that are inside the thing. At least I think that's what's happening. Let's try it and see. Let's see if, if this turned out to make any change. Publish HTML. Nope, still no. So I we, thought it was being like rendered or displayed by probably like timely one of those things that they use in Java to display HTML. Cause I'll just, I'm still also wondering where that is from, like so that we could trace that particular file. So right. that's why I had that. And, and that's a very good question. So let's, let's do some more exploring and see what we can see because certainly config.jelly is being used somewhere, right? So maybe what we do is we edit config.jelly. And let's put something in here like, now what do we want? How about welcome to the she code Africa pipeline help project. Okay, so let's let's try that and see what results we get there. Because we're just editing a, a, uh, a an existing file. We're not adding a new file. Let's see where we find that, if we can find it. Okay, publish HTML. Okay, I, do you see it anywhere? Nope. I don't see it anywhere. Um, what about the source code? Can we see it in the HTML source code? That's, oh, that's a good idea. View page source. So there's the publish HTML there. Let's see, what was the change that I added? I added, welcome. Oops. Oh, right, I, I did welcome, didn't I? So let's look for the word welcome. No, nope, okay. not in the HTML sources. Good, good thing to check though, very good. Okay, so let's, let's do one more online. Oops, not that one. There was one which is steps reference. This one, which generates the list of step, the help for steps based on the loaded plugin. So still loading. And now if we look down here at publish HTML, target. So I would have expected it to be there, and yet I don't see it there because we, we definitely added something to the target jelly, right? But the word welcome is nowhere on this page. Hmm. Okay, so my apologies, I'm still not succeeding in my explorations. It's okay. All right, so it looks like I'm gonna to have to take the action I am to do more research. My apologies that I'm, I'm stuck on this, on this point. That doesn't give you enough to make further progress other than studying more about Jenkins Pipeline and how to, how to do more with Jenkins Pipeline or how to modify existing help files if you find existing help files. My apologies, I'll have to do more research. Okay. Um, uh, no worries. Matt, before the time actually runs out, um, I actually have something to show you. I tried to build um, the plugin I cloned and mm -hmm. um, it wasn't successful. It's, it's saying something about bug, bug spots, bugs and the rest. Um, do you mind if I share it with you? That would be great. Go ahead. Yes, please. 
see and have I enabled security so that you can share yes I have good oh okay uh, I'm coming Made it. Okay. So I had to configure my laptop to share. I'm sorry. So you may have to drop off and come back again. Your Mac OS is telling you need to need to. Okay, got it. Yes. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh. Well, and, and if it would help, we can do this without recording it. Do you want me to just pause the record, stop the recording? Oh, she's rejoining. Just go. Okay. Yeah. I also had a few build errors, but I was able to like resolve most of them. I think the only one that was left was some accession error to check in one of the files. So yeah, that was sort of my progress. And I looked into the the file for the, let me check it out. Um, aha, yeah, the copy of the Jenkins user documentation. And I looked at certain things that I could like add to. Um, I was looking more at the, let me see, the HTTP request. What do you think about that? That would oh, be a very good choice. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, because I saw about six six hits people saying that there's no like examples, and so I really wanted to have a look at that. That um, would be great. Okay, Sophia. Oh. Ah, okay, Sophia is back. Okay. She's back. Yeah. So go ahead, Sophia. Oh, I'm sharing. Okay, so this is it. Actually, it's saying something about um. So do a Java space minus version on your command yeah. line. And I suspect it will tell us that you're running Java 18 or Java 17. I actually um, switched to Java 11. Okay, so at the moment it's running Java 18. Oh, but I actually switched to Java, I switched to Java 11. And I wasn't really expecting to burn in Java 18. Yeah, so do a which space Java and let's see how it decides which Java you're using. Sorry, what did you say? The command is which, W-H-I-C-H. Uh, no, 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 not without switch. S. Yeah. Okay. No, and without T either. Oh. Okay, so this? The, yes, uh, you still have an S. You should switch. get rid of. No, 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 no. A w H I C H. W I. No. W H. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Space Java. Java. Okay. Thank you. Well done. Okay. okay. So user uh. bin. Okay. So now somewhere on your system, you've got Java 11. Do you know where that is? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. No, not really. Uh, okay. Is there an equivalent to uh, update alternatives in macOS, Mark? I don't know I, macOS. And I don't know either, but do a do an ls of slash usr slash local slash bin. ls. Space slash usr okay. slash local slash bin. Yeah, actually just USR local that much. Okay, so that doesn't, all right. So now let's look in USR local bin. So LS slash USR slash local slash bin. Let's see if maybe it has a Java in it that we could use instead. Or tell us, Sophia, how did you switch to using Java 11? And let's do that again. I actually Googled that and it was really, really stressful. <laughs> oh. was I think weird. I've faced a similar experience like before by right? choosing how to choose which particular JDK to run. But there's a way I'm currently looking for it on the internet. One minute. 
So I'll try to see if I'll find anything useful. Ah, okay. So, so what I see is slash library slash JDK says slash, oh dear, where is it? Oh, oh, here we go. Okay. There's a, okay, so ls of slash, no, no, run the command slash usr slash lib. Actually, I'm going to just paste this command. I'm going to paste the page into our chat session, if that's okay. And okay. then you can just open that page in your browser. Try this um, Matt, page. Go ahead. Is actually, is it this um, slash yes or slash lead? That's the one. Yes, exactly. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so <laughs> now what you want to do is export Java underscore home. Uh, there's some magic in the Stack Overflow page that tells you how to make it use the second one on your list. Oh, maybe in a capital case. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe. No, no, not for export, just for Java. Well, oh, okay. so do you have do you have access to the chat window from Zoom? Because I've pasted oh, yes, the link. Okay, so okay. if you bring that up and then scroll downwards and you'll see the export Java home equals that thing. Exactly. So, so one of those is what we need. I'm not sure if you're using bash or let's see, go back to your, go back to your terminal window and let's find out which kind of shell you're using. And now I have to remember, how do I determine the shell you're using? So, um, oh, PS, do a, do the command PS. Or she could just type in the bash and then switch. Ah, so bash. it's ZSH. Okay, so so is, you want, we want to use the ZSH instructions. That's that's good. So go back to the Stack Overflow page and let's use the ZSH instructions. They are where are they? I think for that's... bash. So I think bash is like ZSH. So or ZSH is like bash. So let's take the bash instructions and we're going to modify them slightly. Okay. So take just that one line, right? And paste that into your terminal window, but then instead of the 1.8, so replace the 1.8 in the terminal window with uh, 11. Do I have to put the full um, type 11.0? I don't point? know. I would try just the 11, but you may have to do 11.0.14. Mm -hmm. I was just going to try 11 because I assumed they'd take a substring. And then close, <laughs> close the parenthesis. Okay. And Let's hit close. enter. Okay, now do a Java minus version. Victory. Okay. But okay. now that's the change we just made is temporary, Sophia. Mm -hmm. okay. And in order to make it permanent, the instructions in the in that Stack Overflow page will tell you how to edit your .zshrc file to make it permanent. So what you'll do is you paste that same exact command line that we just did into okay. that file. So if you edit that file or copy that export command, that you just, that we did, put it into your copy buffer. Yeah, the export. Yeah, exactly. Now edit with whatever your preferred editor is, the file in your home directory named .zshrc. Okay. Oh, let me just use this yeah and you can yeah, right exactly you can use the uh the explorer thing what does mac what does mac os call it they've got a specific finder is it finder mm. 
Yeah, yeah you want you, you want to go to your home directory in Finder. So I think it's in the menu, it's go home, something like that. In the top menu uh, at the top of your screen. No, higher than that. Uh, oh, you know oh, where oh. you see the apple, yeah, go to go, go. There is a menu called go, yeah, and home. Oh, very nice. Didn't know about wow. that. <laughs> Now it okay. can show you the hidden files, unfortunately. So you have something to set so that you can see them. Okay, so that, all right. So, well, let's see, back to, well, yeah. So what we, so there's a setting on this that would allow you to see hidden files. Actions, folder actions. Maybe it's on the three dots in the top right hand section of that, or we could just so bring up it your would editor. Be command, shift, and period. Oh, okay. wow, very impressive! Wow, command, shift. <laughs> <I like that. laughs> okay, so now in this page, okay, there's a dot z profile, but not dot z shrc. So I think you want the dot z profile file. So edit.z profile. And let's see what it says. Yeah, okay, so one, one line after that, paste that text that we saved. Okay. Okay, now we're going to hope that we didn't do terrible damage. Save that. <laughs> Okay. And now and you can exit out of that editor and start a new terminal window, a new, um, yeah, start a new one of those. And now do Java minus version. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, now now let's go test to see if the real problem is solved. All we did now is get to <laughs> Java 11. Now, now go to the directory where you're going to do that compile, and let's see if the real problem is fixed. Okay. Mm, IntelliJ. Sorry. Uh, just to ask, uh, so the ZH, um, that profile file, that's equivalent to setting your environment variables, right, and system variables? It is, oh. exactly, Afi. Mm -hmm. you're, you're absolutely correct. Yep. Okay. Okay, so here, Maven minus version. Let's be sure that we know what Maven version you've got first. Good, okay, now let's try building. So Maven space clean, space verify. Shouldn't I, I skip the test? If, if, you want to, if you want to go faster, absolutely. So minus capital D. Skip tests. I was assuming, hey, don't skip the test, but you're, that's a good point. If you want to go faster, skip the test. And the T in tests is capitalized. Okay, thank you. And you'll need, an, I think, an S on the end, right? Because it, it assumes you've got more than one. So it's skip tests. All right, let's try it. Glad you were able to share the screen, Sophia. Thank you. <laughs> I can't imagine trying to diagnose this without watching and without talking together. Oh. I actually um, just got this map just a um, few months, a month ago, but I've been working with Linux for over like a year now. So, so welcome, welcome to the world of Berkeley Utilities. This will be a new experience for you. That's great. Linux is... Linux, they're both Unix variants, but there are a, a few differences, particularly in Z shell. All right, your, your compile worked.
Yeah, thank you very much. All right, excellent. So I apologize, I've got to end and we're, we're well past the, when should have ended Bruno's, Bruno's day. Any other questions before we conclude and when shall we meet together next? Do you want to meet together early next week since I didn't get you really a good start on the things we'd hoped or do you want to just meet middle of next week or Thursday like this? What's your preference? Uh, because of um, Nas Nasifa. Nafisa? Nafisa, we can actually meet earlier. So how about if would, let's check if what time. go back to our original time. I don't uh, know about um, Abigail. Afi, would, <laughs> what would work for you? Um, I, is, it, is it on the same day? We, we could certainly meet on the same. My question was more about should we meet on the same day or should we change days so that we meet sooner? Uh, but then oh, the time of you. day is also a good question. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. Um, so what are the options so that I just like check in? And good. So let, let me look at my calendar and see what I can see. So options for me would include, oops, today, today, today. Okay. So for instance, we could meet on Monday at 5 p.m. or at Monday at, at 5.30 p.m. UTC. We could meet on Tuesday at 5 or 6 p.m. UTC. Or if we wanted, we could meet very much earlier on, on Monday or Tuesday at 1 p.m. UTC. Either any of those would work for me. Let's see, or let's see. And so in terms of comparing to, do you, are you comfortable with the, making the translation to UTC or do I need to get into your time zone? Okay, what, what, UTC, what? Is, UTC is my time zone and Sophie is one hour ahead of me. Okay, all right. So, all right. So if we did, would, would either, would Monday at 1 p.m. UTC work for either of you or Monday at say 5.30 p.m. UTC work for you? Monday 5.30. Yeah, it's a holiday, so 5.30 work for Oh, me. oh, but let's not meet on a holiday. You should you should have a holiday off if you've got a holiday. That that may also, is that a holiday in Europe as well, Bruno? Is Monday, no, no. no okay. But Would, I think I think we can meet. It's just an hour to just go through the pipeline steps. So I think it's we could meet like that day, and then we go on to like finish the tax. Um, okay, Sophie, what do you think? I I actually don't mind. I as much as we have lots of holidays, I don't really get to enjoy them. <laughs> oh. I know, I know. I really, really wanted to like just relax because I've been moving. I'm actually actually moving to a new role. I mean, the same role but different place. So. But one, uh, I mean, I really want to know how to like figure this out. So, yeah, Monday. Okay, so, so let's do Monday at 5.30. And is Zoom okay for the two of you then? Zoom, Zoom has worked well for me and I like how it screen shares. Is it okay for you, Sophia? It's okay for me. And Afi Zoom is, me. Zoom's okay for you? Okay. Yeah. So I will schedule this from Monday at 5.30 p.m. Uh, UTC and we'll, we'll, try to make more progress. Great, thank you. Thank you, Bruno, thanks thank very much. You. I really enjoyed this session, thank you guys. Yeah, I did, I did, it was very, very practical. Bye-bye. <laughs>